So hey guys, and welcome to The Division. It is here for your very eyes. I went away to Sweden and played the game on Xbox One, and here it is. We've just arrived in New York, and this is pretty much a one-to-one -one creation of New York. The best ever from any game ever in Division. That's, that's pretty cool, because I, I like New York. I've been there a few times, recognized, recognized a few places, and that's pretty cool. Um, this is a moat, so you can do a moat like surrender, flag wave, clap, star jumps, all that sort of stuff. And here it is. This is where you eventually land in the game. You level four, so something happens before this. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure what. They didn't really tell us, but there's something before this. So it's, this is this is not the start of the game. It's sort of like perhaps like an hour or two in. I don't, I don't know. It's hard to explain. But perhaps we go to Brooklyn first or something, or something happens. I don't know. But basically, someone set up a virus in New York, and chaos just went. Chaos, riots, and someone's behind this. We need to find out who done it take them down and I'm gonna team up with two players one's a developer and one is called a guy called Alex who does YouTube as well and we're gonna team up and take on the York for the first time also you can mod weapons so you can do optics under barrels magazines muzzles do the skins lots of mods available so you can make your gun look and feel unique to you nice that is, that is cool so, in, at the moment, we're in the, the PvE area, which means, basically, it's just going to be AI that's going to shoot us. We do meet other human players walking around, but that's just... We can't shoot each other. This is like a friendly zone. No contact happens. But there is a place called the Dark Zone. So, we'll go there eventually in a future video. But that's where the PvP takes place, multiplayer takes place, in it's like, Dark Zone. So, that's where the, the really cool loot is and stuff like that. So, that is, that is cool. That is cool. So I will show that at some point, I promise you. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. And go and, Scott, I want to see it. Um, also, I've got a future mission from my, a level 20 character. Level 20. We're level 4 at the moment, so this is completely different. Um, here we've got the abilities. This is medical, tech, and security. Um, medical, the first skill or ability is called pulse. So you can see through walls, see through cover. You have a sticky bomb, a ballistic shield, which is like a shield which pops up. And protects you for like a certain period of time. But you can use a, a pistol at that time. So that's definitely a downside. That's not good. So you've got appearance as well. So you can change your, your cap, your jacket, your chinos, your woolly scarf, your training hood. Make yourself feel different and unique. And that's what we want to be a character. But it wouldn't be a unique character. We want to be like a generic character, do we? We want to feel like a, a special being. And there is the map. The map of New York. Is that red zone? That's the dead zone. The dark zone, sorry, not dead zone. The dark zone, that's where the combat takes place, PvP takes place, the red zone. And that's where our base is. See that big little map in there? That's where the mission is. So we've got to get to there nice and quickly. There's dead bodies on the floor, there's snow. Things aren't looking good. Things aren't looking good at all. Things that we are about this game, though. The weather, the weather looks awesome. The snow, the, the, the fog and mist. Uh, the sound is pretty good as well. The graphics look amazing, I think. It's not quite matching the old E3 2013 trailer, but it still looks really good. Really, really good. I played on PC, but I can't, say I, I can't say anything about the game yet. The PC version, I can't talk about it until a certain date, so they even ask me. And there's Chelsea. We're going to explore Chelsea. Done. Got 400 XP for that, so you get XP for exploring, for killing, and that's that's cool. Um, so what are you wondering? Can we still close doors? If you didn't know, this is some part of the E3 trailer that originally came out. You could close the doors on the car. I'll explain in a sec. It probably sounds quite odd to some people, but there's a, there's, there's a pedestrian, like, it's just like bending over, like in pain or something. I, I don't know what he's up to. Uh, there's some intelligence. So you get XP on the stuff like that. That's like collectibles. Collectibles for the win. See, so he just closed the door. He closed it. So he's using it as cover, but obviously the door's open. So you need to you need to close it. Um, so basically, you just like walk up to it, go into cover, and you can just close it as you as you go past. <laughs> it's it's something very small, but it just sort of puts you in that immersion. It makes you feel like a proper like realistic character. Uh, so it's very icy, it's very snowy, but you can obviously still sprint. Pedestrians around, got garbage everywhere. I try and shoot one of them because I'm stupid like that. Because <laughs> I'm very very mean apparently. What can I say? But even like you got little sounds, you can hear like the wildlife a little bit. There's a round the floor. I shot the rat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. That rat done nothing to me. Anyway, moving forward a little bit. 
Uh, we're about to see a random encounter. I'm still closing doors. I'm, I'm fascinated by closing doors. There's Santa. And he's being shot. He now has holes through him. He looks so cheerful before I come round. And now he's been, like, demolished. So you can play this game as, like, a co-op game or a solo game. It is three players, like, max as, like, a co-op partnership. So it's four players overall or solo. It is built as, like, a co-op game, I guess. But I would probably play it solo because I, I like playing games solo. I find it hard to find friends with the right console, play at the right time, play on the right day to be quite tricky. Uh, here's a random encounter. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, covering this game is very, very important. You can die very, very quickly. So press A to go into cover. That's space on the PC and X on the PS4. You press AA twice. That puts you into like a nice little roll. So that's any sort of throwing explosive weapons. Break a nice little red marker you know, in front of you or near you. You can just roll away. Very useful. Also, you can hold A to go to like another part of the cover. Or you can press B to go over the cover or climb obstacles in your way. Thumbs up for that. So this is a random encounter. I think it's done now. Yes, we are. Oh, there's more coming in. There's another wave. There's another wave. Sorry. Cancel that. Cancel that. Get some cover. Find a car. I don't think cars explode in this game. I don't think that. I, never, I haven't seen a car explode. You may notice some random glitches and stuff in the background. Like that guy just slid in. While we were sitting down, which is weird. This is not the full game. It's not the full... It will be fixed. Apparently. That's, that's, that's what we've been said. This is not the full build. This is like an alpha beta build. Also, I'm not sure if I, if I said this yet. But the beta is coming out on the Xbox One. On the 28th of January. And the 29th for PC and PS4. So the Xbox will get it one day early. And like an extra, extra, extra day. Random accounts are completed. So security wing suppliers have gone up a little bit. Got some XP. Some other loot and mods and stuff around. So make sure you collect all the loot. Skiff all a little bit here. I was like just exploring a little bit. <laughs> I got a little bit distracted. This is Times Square, Times Square I believe. My New York. Was it New York? No, it's not great. But it's, um, it's our main base. It's being attacked. We have to try and help out. Secure the base of operations. There's um, rioters here. So there's rioters. Uh, cleaners and obviously oh, whackers and also got like a sort of a band of disbanded like fire engine officers police officers all disbanded going to like one group they're called something I, can't, I forgot the name and there's the sticky bomb which has exploded this guy just takes bullets so it's just a sponge that's one thing press out this game the enemies are sponges it is, it is like an MMO sort of game it, that's, that's what does happen the enemies get harder they take bullets like a boss. <laughs> they just absorb them and don't take any damage. It is headshots do do like, obviously additional damage. So as you saw there, it comes up in red. So that done two two eight damage, and the boy done like one five eight. So it's fairly similar. Shotgun for the win. Yes. Next. Situation outside is now under control. My official report: the division saved our sorry asses. Thanks for the report, Bravo Squad. Uh, stay alert out there and keep it frosty. I'm glad you made it. Now let's rebuild our base. Go on in and have a look around. I finally got some transportation, so I'm inbound. Let's do this. Right, so the base is now ours. This is our base. This is individual bases. This is not like a co-op base. It's just our base. So we upgrade it. We add supplies to it. Make it stronger. Make ourselves stronger. Once we get that virologist over here, we can build up a staff, investigate the origin of the virus, and start getting more supplies. For civilians, but for us as well. So inside the base we have medical, tech, and security. All these have missions. We've also got a crafting table, ways to buy items. That includes mods, armor, clothes, I believe, and weapons. Is that right? Sometimes I feel like I repeat myself. I don't think I did. Uh, so I decided to deconstruct my weapons and make a mini Uzi. So that's all the weapons I didn't need. Just distracted them and made a, a mini Uzi. The guy. He can mobilize them and help us get the intel and firepower we need to get all these hostels off the streets. Yes, yeah, so there's like a character for every like security tech. It's like one character that you have to sort of help out in that area. The tech wing has obviously seen better days. True. But if you can get Rhodes back here, he's apparently got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Former PMC, I think. Knows more than you think he does. I suspect he'll be very useful. 
So all those wings are now online. We're going to head outside and do the, the medical, the medical scenario. There was a cutscene there, but I had to cut it out because of embargo stuff. I can't show you any cutscenes or there's like certain stuff I can't show you. Um, obviously, once you get the game or perhaps you play the beta, you can see the cutscene for yourself, I guess. I will be doing a probably like a full sort of let's play on this game when it comes out because I just I think it'd be such fun. And I will probably try and get some cart people to come in as well. Look at the weather though. Look at this. Oh my god. This is like a very, very thick snow, foggy. Looks amazing. The lighting in this game, the weather effects. Oh so good. So so good. So this is the mission just here. We do it on hard. Because we're pros. So I got like, I mean, you got easy, medium, and hard, I believe. And maybe even a harder one, I'm not sure. But this is on hard. So, yeah, expect me to uh, take some bullets. That'd be quite difficult. This is the first medical mission we're about to do. I'm, actually, I'm gonna show you most of it, but not all of it. And there's some rioters. They call, I think they're called rioters. Riot, something like that. Basically, guys with like masks and stuff over their face. They're like, yeah, we don't want to be killed, bitches. These guys run straight towards cover. They're quite intelligent, actually, the AI. They're pretty clever. Definitely not stupid. You get XP as you go. We're about halfway to go up to level 5. It does take a while to level up. It's definitely not quick. I think the max level is 30. Obviously, that can be in increased with updates and stuff. So, definitely up for consideration. I think there may be a different level for the, the PvP stuff. I don't want to confirm that, but that's what I, I think I heard. There's so much information just being thrown at my face. I was like, ah, uh, ah, uh, I can't take it all in. It's a pretty uh, amb ambitious big game to learn. That's why these sort of videos probably help a little bit, I think. Like, you, just, you can just learn certain aspects of the game. It's one of those games that got announced very, very early, but we haven't really seen much on it. It's been pretty quiet. I'm very low on health here. I'm pretty much about to die. I do have a medical pack. See a medical pack there, grenades. On the right, we've got the names of our cart partners, the map on the left, and XP on the right there. If you guys are wondering what that means. Yeah, you've got ammo there, health. So each bar is obviously like a bar of health. Whether you get more bars, I don't know. I'm guessing you probably do. I do have some stuff recorded from level 20, a level 20 character. So I'll show you that at some point. System, I might be able to find Candle's location. Should be able to pick them off without making yourself a target. This is when things go seriously like insane. Like, there's so many enemies in this little place. This must be like an old hospital or a backup hospital in some sort of basketball stadium. You guys may know where it is. Perhaps it's who's the who's the American basketball team? I don't even know. That's one. I'm terrible. There's a smoke thing that's went off. It makes you like a bit blurry and you can't really see what's going on. Oh, I can't see. It's just, it's just a little bit blurry, it makes it a little bit difficult to shoot people. It's disappointing. I went with the LMG quite a bit. It's got a big, big mag, shoots very, very quickly, and just does damage. Hence, I did that. Just guns them down. I liked it. There's more hostiles coming. It's like, it's like six coming down just now. Look. Go away. Buzz off. What are you doing? What are you doing? Crazy. So I went always to Sweden to play this game. Uh, it was near the developers that actually made the game itself. It actually snowed on recording day. It snowed. I haven't seen snow for ages. That definitely did excite me. You may have seen there briefly. Um, the grenades all pop up. That's all the throwables you can get. Uh, ones I saw was smoke. Flash, I believe. Uh, is it incense? What's that? The flame grenade. It's a, it's a different word for it. And like a normal grenade. There's definitely like a, a, a decent selection of, of fragile weapons. I'm going to have a quick drink because uh, my voice is going. Additional hostiles detected. Man, that guy is like so screwed. <laughs> I like that headshots do do more damage. It does make perfect sense. Oh, big explosion. I don't know, I've got my... There we go. Look at that. Oh, I hit like four enemies or two maybe. A decent amount. Uh, skip forward a little bit here because the battle is pretty big. Done. Done, done, done. Again, pick up with the loot. Loot is very, very important. This is. How, how would I describe this game? It's like a Day Z Destiny game. That's how I would describe it, I think. But in third person. Is that good? Is that. I think so. That's, that's, that's how I would describe it. 
but I prefer to, to, to like Destiny where it's more realistic. It's got some sort of story to it as well. I can't really talk about it too much, but I said it already. It's like someone set off a virus. Everyone got really bad colds, got ill. Riots happened. Police disbanded. Shit got real. It's pretty. New York got absolutely wrecked. And then the prisoners escaped, called the, the Rikers, I believe. They come in and create even more like havoc and stuff. Cleaners, they're like a little bit mental. Like, we must burn every living object because it's got the virus. So that's not Word good. That they've really trashed the place. It would have broken Basketball. my dad's heart to see it go to hell like this. We used to watch games there together. Yeah, there's a basketball. Right? You can actually shoot the basketball. Try getting the lift. <laughs> Boom! I think it's better my folks oh, didn't in. <laughs> see any of this. But then I think about all the people doing their best to keep going. That's who we do this for, Agent. Go get them. Right, run! This is the last part of the combat. You're about to we see it on the roof. in a second. Kendall made it to your position. Affirmative. Kendall! The staff just arrived. As soon as the hostiles on the roof are gone, we'll get her across safely. So we've got some ammo there on the right. So that, that will reimburse everyone in the squad with some nice, juicy ammo. Thank you very much. Oh, oh ammo. Ammo is always, it's always nice, isn't it, in these sort of games. You need lots of ammo to fire with. If you run out, that's it, you're screwed. Who wants that? So you've got helicopter there, a bunch of rioters like want to take us out. There's so many enemies. There's a, there's a, there's a fair amount. But I quite about the game. Look how gorgeous this game looks. Oh, smoke grenade. I hate smoke grenades. The smoke actually is pretty cool. I must say. But yeah, I'm I'm generally excited about this game. I really want to get some cart buddies. Now this game, mate. I don't know what console I'm gonna get it on. Probably, um, probably Xbox. I don't know. It's, hard to, it's, such, it's such a big decision. What console do I? I'll probably play it on PC as well. Because PC. I'll talk about it at a future date, but yeah, PC. <laughs> American flag. All the graffiti. It's like little little bits that really add to this game that make it look the environment look absolutely amazing. I must have spent so much time on this. But in terms of future content, I did record quite a bit. If you guys want to see customizations, so this is our main character here, um, I could do that. There's not a whole bunch of customization, but I'll, we'll talk about that in a future date, future video. I've got PvP, Dark Zone gameplay, or a level 20 mission. Leave a comment, let me know what you want to see, and I'll try and cover that for your faces. All right, these guys just run at you with bats. They're absolutely mental. That guy's like, I'm. I'm gone, I'm gone, I can't handle this, I'm gone. Just runs back. I'll try and mow him down. With the, the light machine gun, of course. LMG for the win. That's definitely, definitely my favourite gun. Do you have sniper rifles, shotguns, pistols, SMGs, machine guns? All that sort of stuff in this game, so don't be happy about that. There is a boss here. Which is like the ultimate sponge of doom. It just absorbs bullets all day. Every day, just, just absorbs them. Like, it's like what is life? He's called Touch. I'm gonna kill him. He does have a weak point though. So if you guys ever ever get this game, there's a weak point on his back. Shoot that, and you'll see in a second, I guess. But there's still quite a few like normal foot troops around, so I need to be careful of that. Um, also, if you want to see this gameplay, uh, no commentary. Let me know as well. I can do that. So I'll probably have to upload this. I can show you some of my gameplay, like in terms of like time. And they still have minutes like per video, so it's it's, it's embargo boring stuff. So I'm now officially level five. Yay! Nice. So in terms of you also get abilities, you unlock the abilities, you get um, a tech skill, I believe, which you can increase, so it improves like your turrets, things like that. Um, also, you get like a, a stamina, I believe, or like health, which improves like in your stamina, a quick you can run around and. How much health you have that's like a separate category i will talk about that a little bit more in depth at some point like just go around all the stats and abilities and all that sort of jazz i will do it i promise at some point there's just so many guys though look at them there's just loads i like how they get suppressed because if you are shooting like an lmg at someone they will get back up they will be suppressed they'll be like confused like what do we do i can't put my head up because we get wiped out like i kind of flanked us what he's doing 
<laughs> oh man, the headshots. It can get quite awkward, the covering. Just, it can be quite awkward. It's just like, you don't know where to go. You press an A and it's like, uh. But also cover games are a bit like that. It's, it's very hard to get right. But it does a pretty good job, I think. I would, I would say so. That guy's dead. Oh, man, he blew up. I think he's got like a grenade out or something. about to throw at me. And I was like, nope. Sit back down, bitch. Like, this hutch guy is like, I'm surrounded. Where do I go? Utterly confused. So I'm going to mow him down. Sit, mow him. I'm trying to get his back. There, oh, so there's that little yellow triangle cross thing that pops up. That's when we hit the, the, the thing on his back. He's blown up. He should die. Very, very soon. I've got a shotgun out. Boom, done. Got the medic Woo. safely across. Candle and all staff accounted for. No casualties. We're off to a good start, agents. Wish I could have had your back out there, but I think we make a hell of a team anyway. When you get back Unlock to the, base, the medical wing. We'll talk to Candle and we'll see what she can do for us. So again, lots of loot and stuff to collect. Again, please leave a like, share this video when possible, and expect some more videos on this game on release, before release, when the beta comes out. I'm excited! Yay!